Hi everyone, and uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I believe it's a st- yeah. statistic. statistic. <laughs> The, the, the. From the DeNovo Realty Studios in sunny Brevard County, Florida, the most important podcast on the internet, ladies and gentlemen, DeNovo Realty Radio. Hi everyone, this is Garrett Bell with DeNovo Realty, and today I'm joined with Flavia Burial, and today we're going to talk about the announcement of Zillow opening up their own brokerages. So. Oh. Oh exciting God. stuff. Very exciting. Yes. So they announced um, they're starting in a couple of markets. It was Atlanta, mm-hmm. Arizona, and Arizona. Yeah. And um, I'm sure they'll be in our area at some point. So the whole con, I'll go over quickly the concept, and then we'll give you kind of our thoughts about it. But they are going to be, uh, they're going to have agents that are going to sell their property. So they're doing the direct buyer programs, the I buyer programs. They buy them directly from the consumer. And they turn around and sell them. So they had decided they were losing too much money. Uh, it was about a loss of about sixty nine hundred dollars per sale. Um, in two thousand nineteen, they had a loss of about three hundred million dollars. So they're going to open up their own brokerages, have agents list Zillow agents list their properties and sell them. And they're going to be salaried employees, which is something that <laughs> we're going to talk about because I think that poses a couple. Issues, and again, all speculation, we'll see how it goes. But the iBuyer program, so there's Open Door, um, one other one, I can't remember the name, but that's buying directly from consumers. So it's a very small part of the market. I believe the numbers like half a percent of all home sales are bought directly. And that's usually going to be with, you know, someone wants a quick sale. Mm-hmm. A lot of times they're in some type of distress. And it's through that, you know, say, um Offer me now. Zillow, have, Zillow offers. Zillow offers. Yeah. Make so an like, offer on my home. Yeah. So it's like they are they are buying from a for sale by owner, mm-hmm. right? And then they go ahead and they list the property. Yeah. I think um, I haven't showed a Zillow home. I've shown Open Door, but they'll go and the, they'll paint and they'll do some things to get it ready. Mm-hmm. Turn around and list. It's kind of an interesting concept because the margins are extremely small, and, and as you, they're losing money on it, so. I don't know enough about why yeah. you would want to do that, but so. But what are your thoughts from the consumer standpoint? How that's going to kind of affect home buyers and sellers? I feel that it is to me is amazing that Zillow realized that they're losing money not having a real estate agent representing them. Mm-hmm. So now they want to quick fix that, and they are going to you know hire. They said that they are not going to be going to brokers and recruiting other agents. But they are going to pay for their employees to get a real estate license mm-hmm. and then dive into a real estate transaction, which is so crazy as, you know, yeah. so many things happen during the transaction. And, you know, being salary and turning our phone at 5 o'clock because you're getting paid from 8 to 5 and not talking anymore and not answering your phones on the weekends or something like that. I don't see how that's going to work think that's out. A, I think that's a big piece of it. There's been salary real estate positions in the past. It's not like a new concept or anything, um, but it's the same thing where, it, you know, which is similar to doing like the flat fee companies or, you know, 1% listings or what have you, where it's a low low cost, but you're, you're getting in return. What do you pay for? What you pay for. <laughs> Weird concept. Um, and that doesn't lead to happy consumers. Yeah. And then... And, and, and I think we're going to suffer, too, dealing with those new agents that probably, you know, haven't, haven't dealt, that has no, no training, yeah. you know. We like, already know I, my thoughts on how easy it is to get your real estate license, but that's yeah. for another. Yeah, too. Well, no wonder how many failed in your first two years. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's a uh, big, big percent. 87% don't make it past the yeah. first two or three years, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And yeah. I'm sure it'll be in our market at some point. Um, and and having a, you know, having a, a seller hiring a real estate agent like us representing you. And, and, and we, you know, we deal with so much that in the end end up netting more money than if they're oh, doing a sure. loan for or sure. if they're you know because we negotiate everything the inspections and everything there's a whole lot to go there's wrong. A, a whole, yes so Zillow realized that they were losing money doing that way yeah. so yeah I think it's it's exciting for us like from a business standpoint if the iBuyer program takes off and puts us all out of business it should but it's not going to because 
the real estate transaction is very complicated. Yeah. And as long as you know you're a good agent, you know you're what you're talking about. You're going to provide so much value to the consumer that from saving them money or preventing bad things from happening, getting them. I mean, it's such a big deal. Like we have so much more influence on a transaction yeah. than people totally understand. And you have to be, you know, you got to know what you're doing. For, for sure. And a salaried, you know. Yeah. Salaried employee on that is. I don't. I don't see that working. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. And I think from our from our standpoint as an agent. And, and other people in the industry, I'm certainly not concerned about how it's going to affect us. The people that are selling their property that way, number one, you know, usually they're willing to take less for their property. They're in distress. They want to get rid of it immediately. It's a very small percentage of the market because right. the people that do that are willingly saying, I'm going to take less from because my house I get rid of it. because I got to get rid of it. Yeah. So that's always going to represent a small portion, I think. Yeah. So, you know, outside of that, the... The more you know, the people that want to sell their home for the money. Yeah, we we are representing sellers that do not want to get rid of it. They yeah. want to get the most Absolutely. of they can, right. of the, of which is always going to be a significantly higher percentage. Correct. Than right. yeah. Than those people, that's for sure. And then from a buyer's buyer standpoint, now you've got you know with us as full time agents who are on commission, you know. Number one, you know, we the experience, but then we're available, you know, we're not, <laughs> we actually care about, you know, the yeah. end result because we're not going to get paid the same if we don't care about Correct. it. Correct. So Correct. because of that, the end result for the buyers is going to be totally different. Now they go and call a Zillow agent that's on salary that's going to get paid the same, yeah. whether or not they feel like taking that phone call right. or figuring out a solution. Whether they're selling a... Two hundred thousand and two million dollars yeah. is gonna be. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, well, I got better. You know, yeah. The time is uh, about to be off the clock. <laughs> off the clock. Yeah, Call exactly. it a day. Boom. Exactly. So I'm curious to know yeah. what are you guys thinking about this? Like, yeah. I want to see comments. I want to see like, do you like it? Do you think it's like it's gonna take off? Do you think it's not? Yeah. They're gonna lose even more money. You know, the eye buyer is still trying to figure That's out true. the profit like, what if situation. They do this and they end up. <laughs> losing even more. Yeah. It'll, be, it'll be interesting. Let us know your thoughts. Drop yes. them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thank we'll see you. you next time. Now go!